Hi everyone, this is Jana, and today I'm sharing three elegant Valentine's Day cards using dies from Spellbinders and stamps from Avery L. Here are the supplies that I plan to use for my today's card. I have the new hard die from Spellbinders. It has just been released at the Winter 2015 show in Anaheim and should be available for purchase soon. I'll have links to places where you can find it in my video description and also on my blog. I also have an arrow die from the Inspire line, also from Spellbinders. It is going to go perfectly with my heart. And finally, I have the expendable pattern die, which I plan to use as an embossing plate to add texture to my background. As for the stamps, I have a beautiful set from Avery L, and I plan to use that top sentiment that says, I love you, always have, always will. And also some colored cardstock from Hero Arts. I plan to use this for my card base and also to die cut the heart and the arrow. Now I also prepared three pieces of white cardstock trimmed to about four by five and a half inches. I'm going to use these together with the expendable pattern die to emboss a beautiful background onto my paper. I'm going to use a piece of washi tape to tape the paper down to the die to make sure it stays in place as I run it through the machine. Now these expendable pattern dies are amazing. You can literally expand the design as many times as you want, as wide as your machine will allow you to. I've used them many, many times and I simply love them. They do take a bit of time to cut, but the result is so, so worth it. Here's a photo of a home decor piece I did using this particular die a couple years ago. You can click that image to go to a blog post on my blog and take a closer look. And just a heads up, that particular blog post is only available in Ukrainian. There's no English translation. I'm hoping to add it later. Anyhow, going back to our Valentine's Day cards. After I've taped my paper down to my die, I'm going to send it through the machine using the embossing sandwich. We don't want to cut this, we only need to emboss. So make sure you're using the proper plates and a tan embossing mat from Spellbinders to emboss this piece. I'm going to quickly run this through my Artisan Explorer machine, and these dies do fit in this machine, which is just awesome. And here's the result I have by simply embossing this die. Beautiful, isn't it? Now, if you don't have a tan embossing mat, you can fake this embossed look by actually cutting the design and then adhering it on top of white cardstock to create a fake embossed piece. It's going to have less detail, but would still look lovely. Next, I'm going to use my Hero Arts colored cardstock to die cut the heart and the little butterfly. I'm also going to cut the arrow out of this paper, but because I need my arrow to be slightly longer, I'm going to cheat here. I'm going to cut it twice. First, cut the tail and the shaft, and then cut the arrowhead and the shaft again. This way, I'm going to double the length of my arrow. Next, I'm going to work on my sentiment. I'm going to stamp it using black ink from Spellbinders onto a piece of white cardstock that is trimmed to about 4 inches long to a little less than a half an inch wide. The reason it has to be trimmed so narrow is so that it can be pleated through the heart. I'm not sure if pleat is the right word for this, but I'm hoping you can see what I mean on the screen. I'm going to use foam squares from Scrabble Adhesives to adhere my embossed panel onto my card base to give it a bit of dimension. Once that is done, I can go ahead and add foam adhesive to my heart and to my sentiment strip. I want these to be popped up from the background as well. Now I can go ahead and add my arrow to my heart. You can see why I needed it to be longer than usual so that it would be long enough to go through the entire heart. I'm going to use multi-medium and matte from Ranger to adhere the arrow onto my heart. I'm going to use a small stylus to press the arrow down to make sure it sticks to my background. After that is done, I can also adhere the cute little butterfly die cut and that particular die also comes in the package together with the heart. Finally, to give this project an even more elegant look, I'm going to embellish the background with little white pearls from one to scrap. So here's a closer look at my card. You can see that beautiful embossing, the elegant pearls, and of course the heart with the arrow and the little butterfly. The two other cards are very similar to this one. The only difference is in placement of the heart and the sentiment and the color. Well, this is it for today. I hope you enjoyed. As always, you can find the list of supplies to create these cards in the video description and also on my blog. If you're looking for more videos using products from Spellbinders, be sure to check out the link you see on the screen. Until next time, bye!